Hey there, and here's another tutorial on Motion 5. And uh, today I purchased uh, a plugin for Motion 5. Um, and I'm going to show you how that's used. So, uh, this plugin allows us to import 3D objects to our um, projects. And it's, it's called M Object, um, and it's from motionvfx.com. Um, usually when you're using uh, motion you cannot import a, um, a, a 3D object. So let's say you, you work in something like 3D Studio um, or Cinema 4D and you create a 3D model and then maybe you want to bring it into motion um, composite it in with a video um, for example uh, you want to light it um, whatever you want to do with it in motion or, um, or Final Cut Pro uh, the plugin also works with that as well so I'm going to show you how it works here in Motion. So uh, after you've installed um, the M object, it will show up in your uh, Motion library, Generators, Motion VFX, and you see here then we have an M object. So we'll just grab, grab one of those and drag it into our scene there. And we'll see nothing happens to start with. Um, so we need to go over to our Inspector, and if we choose to edit the scene, it'll actually then open up M object, and this is the M object um, window itself. Now, when you get M object, it comes with some very basic models and primitives already. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll grab one of those primitives. Let's say we'll go with um, what do we got here? Let's take a gear, for example. So, we'll select the gear and it'll load there into our screen. Uh, once you've got the gear in here, down here on the um, lower right corner, we can scale it. And we can also alter its rotation in 3D space and its position. Um, so we'll just leave that as it is. And you'll see down here we can actually add materials to this. At the moment, there's not really much there. Again, it comes with uh, 16 stock materials when you purchase uh, M object. And let's grab one of those. Let's say, let's get clean steel. So you just grab it and drag it down into our uh, scene materials there. And um, then it will appear there in a few moments. Excuse the speed of my machine as I'm doing this uh, screen capture at the same time. And there we go. Okay, I've got a couple of them showing up. Um, and just drag that onto your object there and it will update the object with the material that we selected. Now you can see we've got this background here. Um, also as well, um, when you get M-Motion, it comes with, a, with a, a load of different scenery. And what these different sceneries will do is they will provide different types of lighting and reflections on our object. So you can select this for the type of lighting that you want. Um, you don't necessarily have to display this background when you get into motion if you don't want, um, but you can use it to light and make the reflections on our objects. Let's go with this here. Uh, we'll go with parking lot. Go over and, and OK. So there you see we've got quite um, high gloss uh, reflections coming off of our gear here. Um, when you're done editing your object here in, in M motion, you will just go to OK and it will update our scene here and you can see now here inside of motion itself we have our 3D object. If we add a camera to this scene, switch to 3D, then we can spin around and there is our 3D object here now available in motion itself. Now you can't uh, do any editing to it, you know, this doesn't turn motion into a 3D um, graphics software and M, M object itself is not really a 3D modeling software, but you can create the 3D models in Cinema 4D or um, 3D Studio Max, um, Maya, uh, any 3DS uh, or dot .obj you can import into M Object. Um, there's also a bunch of these different uh, models available online as well. You bring it into M Object, you can texture it, and then bring it here into um, Motion. You could composite it then into our video. So. Um, 
whatever 3D object it is you made. So let's say you, you modeled a 3D car and you had some video footage of a street. You wanted to um, animate that car coming down the street and it exploding or something like that. Then you could uh, do that in motion by modeling the vehicle, bringing it into motion, compositing it into your scene together with the video and then adding your explosion, particle effects, etc. Um, so you can also then animate, of course, these objects within motion itself, the same as you would animate any other object. So you just use the keyframe animation. So there's our timeline down there. So let's animate this cog so it spins around. So we'll go to frame zero and we'll set our rotation to zero. We'll add a keyframe there. And then let's go forward, let's say two seconds and we'll rotate this 90 degrees. Now when we play this, there's our cog rotating 90 degrees. So uh, it's pretty easy to animate um, these 3D objects um, here in motion and then you can light them and you can add all of the normal motion effects to your 3D models. So there we go, that's M object, a very, very brief um, introduction to M object and what it does. There's lots more to it I'll be covering in later tutorials. Also, on the um, uh, website itself um, for Motion VFX, they've got tons of tutorials on their video tutorials showing you all the different features of M object and how you can use it with Final Cut Pro and Motion 5. Um, and I'll be doing my own tutorials on this as well as I work on projects. I only just got this software today, so I'm still familiarizing myself with it. Um, but on the surface, it seems like a very uh, a good purchase, a good piece of software. Um, it certainly uh, adds a whole new dimension, um, if you excuse the pun, to Motion 5, um, allowing us to, to bring in these 3D objects. One of the things I found lacking in motion, say, was that if you wanted to do 3D text, if you wanted to have 3D text in a title sequence, for example, um, it, it, there were ways of creating 3D text in motion, but it, it wasn't um, that, that good. Uh, maybe Apple will update that in future versions of motion, but for now, if you want to work with 3D objects in, in motion, then, uh, or, or um, Final Cut Pro, then... Uh, I gotta say M object is the way to go. It's a fantastic bit of kit, so get over to um, motionvfx.com and uh, you can download it there. So, um, they have a bunch of other stuff as well on there. It's well worth checking out. Um, so uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, you can go over to my blog. You can keep up to date with all my latest reviews and tutorials on there. Um, and if you found this video useful, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like the video. Thanks for tuning in.